to our program. I am your host, Marina Santos, and this is Joy in Our Town. Bullying is nothing new, but today, with widespread use of electronic communication and media by children and young people, the problem is worse than ever. Today, I am speaking with Alice Kenyon, and she is the Juvenile Services Specialist for Port St. Lucie Police Department. Also joining us in our discussion is Alan Ludmimer, and he is a school resource officer. They are going to be given tips on how to deal with bullying and what parents and teachers can do to curb this problem. Welcome to our program today. How are you? Thank you. What drives the student to bully others? It's, a, it's a definitely an aggressive uh, uh, behavior and it's usually learned at home. Um, more, more than likely, most of them are victims themselves at home and they carry it on to school. It's definitely, it's definitely a learned behavior usually. Okay. They can also learn it from, uh, you know, TV and movies True. and from their peers and from YouTube is a, a prevalent, uh, as you mentioned, the, the media. Right, okay. Are there certain personality types that tend to do this more than others, you think? Well, um, you know, you think sometimes, uh, you know, kids who have uh, mental or emotional challenges. Right. You know, um, but, uh, you know, again, with the uh, prevalence of uh, the, the use of YouTube and, uh, you know, kids are learning from each other. Right. It's, going, it's on TV. We have reality shows that are teaching kids, you know, and even the word reality is disturbing, mm -hmm. you know, because it is not reality. Right, right. Now, what can somebody do? do if they're being bullied? I mean, what can they do personally to stop it? The first thing you probably want to do is uh, you want to stand up for yourself emotionally. When, right. I, when I say that, you you, you got to know inside yourself the things that you're seeing on Facebook, the things that you're reading, the things that people are saying about you aren't true. Mm -hmm. If you can control that, you can control everything. Okay. Um, they can't bother you. They can't hurt you. Okay. Um, after that, you definitely do not want to bully back. You don't want to make two wrongs. Two wrongs don't never make a right. That's true. And uh, so you definitely don't want to bully back. Next thing you want to do is definitely want to go see an adult. There's, in the school environment, there's teachers, there's school resource officers, uh -huh. counselors. You want to get to an adult as soon as possible and let them know. Right. And if I'm a witness to somebody being bullied, what should I do in that case? Definitely. That's a really good point because a lot of kids today will join in, will make it worse, will laugh. It's not a funny situation. You need to walk away. If you don't want to, some people don't want to stand up and be a hero and that's fine. I understand that. Mm -hmm. Walk away and then go tell an adult what's happening or what you just saw so it okay. doesn't get worse. All right. Um, how can parents combat um, cultural media messages that it's funny or it's okay to do this? Well, um, parents can help kids by something we call an immunization circle. Okay. Um, parents can reinforce kids or people are, you know, what our goals and dreams are, what we care about, what's important to us, what we've accomplished, what are our talents. You know, so as parents are helping kids to accomplish things, mm -hmm. you know, learning how to uh, do things at home, chores, learning how to play a sport, learning their, their subjects and getting, uh, you know, good grades in school. You know, if parents are reinforcing, that's who you are. Oh, you're the kid who likes to read. Oh, you're the kid who is good at math. You're the kid who's good at softball, ball, baseball. Right. Um, you know, then kids start to internalize, oh, you know, I'm good. That's mm -hmm. who I am. And at the same time, parents can say, we, we don't do that in our family. We don't call people names. See what they're doing on the TV. You know, sit down, watch TV with your kid. We don't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, throw things at people or call people names or whatever. That's not who we are. Right, right. So you kind of accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative. Exactly. Okay. Now, how would we define bullying? How would you define bullying? It would be uh, definitely it's in a form of, of abuse, and it's it's an aggressive behavior um, done repetitively. That's the key word. It's done more than once, mm -hmm. and it's usually done by a group or or, or a person, um, and it's usually done to gain power over over another. Right. Okay. Are there different types of bullying? Oh, oh absolutely. There's um, there's mental, uh, verbal, physical, um, and then the, the new cyber. Cyber Cy bullying, cyber bullying huh? which Wow. That's probably, that's that, that's the new thing right now. Right. Now, how is that done? Okay, that can be done, it's usually by uh, electronic media. Mm -hmm. um, it can be done by Facebook. And the problem, biggest problem with that, and different from past, is when you had a problem at school, if you had a problem on the bus, 
that's where it stayed. When you got home, you had your safe spot. You went mm -hmm. home to your safe spot. Mm -hmm. Now when you go home and you go on the computer, you get you go on your Facebook, people are writing things about what happened and, and it's like that game telephone with with kids. Kids lie, kids say right. things and you're getting abused at home. And wow. anywhere you have a cell phone, anywhere you go twenty four seven you, 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 this bullying could follow you. Right, right. And I guess we've read about that in our newspapers recently about that type of thing happening. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, is this a criminal act, bullying? Uh, it absolutely, it, it can be. Um, bullying itself is not a criminal act. I mean, the, the school policy, they have a no tolerance bullying. Mm -hmm. In order to become criminal, it has to violate a state statute. So if somebody is hit or uh, if there's an assault and it could be articulated, that a criminal statute's been violated, and sure, it can, it can definitely reach that. Okay. All right, and you're a resource officer, yes, school resource officer, so do we have a lot more resource officers at every school, or? Uh, right now, Port St. Lucie only has three at the, each high school. Three at each high school? Yeah, I'm, I'm currently assigned to uh, St. Lucie West uh, Centennial High School. Okay, okay. Um, Alice, you look like you wanted to say something. It? It's not really three at each high school. It's one at each of our three oh, high schools. That's what I mean. oh, yeah. oh, three, at one at each high school, yes. Yeah. Okay. So what can we do to prepare our children uh, for these types of incidents? Well, one of the things that the um, kids are learning from is the seven habits of highly effective teens. Mm -hmm. You know, kids who can learn how to make good decisions. Uh, part of the uh, problem, you know, that leads to bullying is faulty thinking. Mm -hmm. You know, because we put somebody else down, that is not going to make us feel better. It's not going to make us more popular. It's, uh, in a way, it's going to make people afraid of us. Okay. If we're going to bully other people. Um, how we can, you know, show that we don't bully is by uh, connecting with the target. Um, if somebody pushes somebody else or somebody pushes somebody's books on the floor, we can kind of connect with them. Can you know? Can you want to come with me? Here's your book back. You know, you want to come with me. Right. If we know the bully, we can actually connect with the bully. As soon as it gets started, we can go, whoa, whoa. You know, come on with me. Let's get out of this mess. We don't want to do this. You know, like, here comes the teacher. You know, give the give the bully an excuse to stop it because sometimes the bully's mouth will, will get them in trouble right go, get them going to a place that they don't even want to go right you right. know so if the bully has a friend who can say you know come on with me let's go here comes a teacher let's get out of here you know that'll cut it right away the other thing kids can do is lobby Mm. Before the bullying gets started, okay. You know, hey, you know, I really hate when you know somebody is getting hurt or, or somebody's you know pushing somebody around or somebody's being mean. Doesn't it, you know? It, it annoys me. It, it, it makes me sick to my stomach. You know, whatever. How do you feel about it? And then the other going, yeah. So they can enroll other kids in. We don't like it. So what are we going to do? Let's right. walk away. Next time we see something like that, let's say, huh, oh, this isn't what I'm not into. This. Let's go. Mm -hmm. And maybe they even want to say, I'm going to go tell somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. To that, um, one thing you can do as a parent, um, you got to empower your children. Mm -hmm. um, as an example, uh, I know another big problem we have here in South Florida is children near pool, near water, their pools are swimming, mm -hmm. they could drown. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people do is they put locks on their door. Right. They'll put um, fences around their pool. You got you got laser alarms, and not those things are great. Mm -hmm. But what I did, and the most simplest thing is, do just teach your kids how to swim, mm -hmm. and you won't have that problem. That's true. That's so this the same thing I, I applies to this. If you could okay. just teach or empower your kids, when somebody writes something on Facebook about them, is it true? Mm -hmm. You know, if you know it's not true, it doesn't bother you. Right, right. It shouldn't be a problem. Don't let yourself get bullied. Right. Uh, it's not a perfect society. Right. So we, if you just teach your children to adapt, mm -hmm. you, they'll be fine. Now, do we find this in more, in like uh, different age groups, more in different age groups, like? In teenagers, in high school, you find it more than you do in middle school or elementary school? Well, it's more controlled in, in the other schools. Um, as, they, as you get to a high school level, kids have more freedom. More kids have tech, uh, cell phones and texts and more, there's more stuff going on. So, I see. So that, that's what it is. It's more controlled in the other schools. Um, that's just because of the environment. Okay. But it happens. It definitely happens on the buses and everywhere else, absolutely. Right. At all right. age groups. It happens now. I, right. You deal with it every day. Adults deal with it. Mm -hmm. it's That's just, true. It's just the way of life. But right. you got to be strong. You got to just, you got to embrace them and empower them. Right. 
Now, uh, oh, go ahead, Alice. I was going to say, and you know, we can be role models in the sense of, you know, it's not that everybody's born, you know, with an imprint. Okay, you're going to be the bully, you're going to be the bullied, and you're going to be the bystander. You know, it's kind of fluid, the roles. You know, one day we might be in a bad mood and we might say a lot of mean things, and then right. the next time we might think, oh, you know, I didn't mean that. So. As adults, what we can do is we can teach kids how to apologize. You know, right. when we say something that hurts a kid, we can say, you know, I said something yesterday. I had so many things on my mind. I'm really sorry I said that. I should not have said that. I know that was hurtful. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and kids can then model themselves after that kind of behavior. Right, right, right. Do you think it would be necessary to, for teachers to even say anything in classrooms? Oh, absolutely. They're, they're role models. Mm -hmm. um, anybody, uh, 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 your assistant principal, a dean, a school resourcer, any adult. Is a, is a role model mm -hmm. and uh, if they see something going on they absolutely should say something right right okay I remember when I was growing up I've, I've had it I guess maybe everybody has had it but um, being that we're so into all the communications like we have now, the media, it's so more, much more prevalent now. So there are it's some books. Even um, there's uh, Barbara Colorosa wrote the the bully, the uh, bu uh, bullied and the bystander. Mm -hmm. There's a, a book bullies and victims. So there there are things that parents can be reading mm -hmm. and um, educating themselves so that they can immunize their children against this kind of okay. stuff. Um, also, the Children's Services Council has many different courses. The one that's starting right now, uh, February 1st, at Southport is Managing and Surviving Parenthood. But they've had a series of four um, uh, four nights in a month, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, one, once a week for a month where um, they are helping parents to deal with what's going on now. You know, a lot of people don't go into parenthood, you know, knowing all the, uh, you know, being educated. Right. So we need education as we we go along. Right, that's true, that's true. Now, Officer Al, mm -hmm. I, I was going to ask also, uh, what type of, um, it is a criminal act, so what, what type of punishment is due to this type of crime? Uh, if, if depends on the crime. If it's uh, bullying, if somebody punches you, it's, right. a, it, it's, a, uh, it's a battery, it's a misdemeanor. Mm. But it, it can go as severe as um, um, uh, you can, somebody be making death threats over 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 a phone, mm. but you, in order for it to be uh, meet the criteria, you have to be able to carry it out. So over the phone, it, it, it really depends by case by case. Okay. But it, it could it could get severe, absolutely. Okay. What about cyberbullying, though? And we, we just we're just about at the end here, so sure. So how, how what's the criminal um, penalty for well, that? There's there's a new form of cyberbullying. I don't know if, if if it's in the bullying, but sexting. Sexting is the oh, transmission really? of pictures. Or, or nudity over the phone, wow. and kids do this. It can be something as innocent as just a kid snapping a picture of another in a, in a locker room, thinking it's innocent, right. and then, or it could be something as a, a, an individual in another state sending pictures to your child over right. the phone, right? Asking for them or sending them, right? So that could be pretty serious. Okay. Well, thank you both so much for being here today and um, for giving our viewers all this very good information. And I'm hoping that we're yeah. going to empower our children uh, so that yeah. they don't go out and do this type. Of check, their, check their emails, check their Facebook, yes. and just right. be, be involved and be on top of what they're doing. Right, right. right. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. And remember, the joy is in the solution. If you would like more information on today's topic, you can contact our guests using the phone number or web address on the screen.